Hello once again model car builders, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Model Car Show. My name is Trevor Slescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And today we're going to be looking at another kit that I did a review of. Ooh, <laughs> almost dropped that on the floor. That of course is our 1940 Ford Coupe and you can find this in our playlist and everything else. Our history, our old videos you name it. But this model car, of course, is the subject of the day. So now I didn't build that one out of the box for today's model. I built this one quite a long time ago. This, of course, is another 1940 Ford Coupe that came from AMT Ertl, maybe around in the 90s. So I'm not looking at the side of the box. <laughs> anyway, now, this again is one of the Rainbow Series cars. I had a little trouble when I filmed this. It kept appearing as blue. So I hope when I pull this up here, it's going to be the right color. It still looks blue. <laughs> this is purple, believe it or not. And I've tried to film this like 10 times in this video, and it is not the true color of the car that you're seeing. You're seeing this as blue. It drives me crazy. I don't get it. Maybe it'll look purple, and I'll just be... <laughs> looks purple in my you know, view screen, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so this one I built, this is sort of like the last one in the Rainbow Series that I have. I don't have an orange one yet. And I was going to do the 40 Ford sedan, but I still got to build that. And that is also in the reviews. But this one here is using the correct um, stock components. So I've got the actual stock front axle instead of the lowered one and a bunch of other stock goodies. You can see I use bare metal foil and the beauty rings and white walls with the spinner and the whole deal. So this one is the most recent, still fits in that rainbow series because of what I've done to it and is still quite special. So this is what you would achieve, you know, through a couple of good years of building models. So now without further ado, let's go down to the bench and I will show you what I did to build this model kit. Now this 1940 Ford is also part of our Rainbow series. This time though, it was a later edition. I do believe I built this when I was about 24 or something, maybe even earlier, but uh, this is done with the Tamiya purple paint and again mixed in for my airbrush at the time. I'm not too happy with the paint again because it sucks in all the dust and you cannot wax these because then it sucks in the wax. But this time around I've got the proper 1940 chevrons on here. I've got the trunk lid latch handle and the license plate shroud just as it should be. Used bare metal foil up here. To keep again with that interior theme, everything is the same testers brown, hand brushed. This time around I got the beauty rings on here. And I also painted the white walls using a spinner my dad made up. Bare metal foil along there. Windshield frame painted up. The aerial is on. As well as, I didn't get to mention this, but on the other Rainbow Series cars, they all have the dropped front axle from the Custom. This one has the stock height axle. You can see again my black wash in here. Again, a very nice uh, model. Very easy to build, easy to put together. This is sort of the one I've got done right. And this is actually purple. It looks blue on film for some reason. But again, overall, a very nice model to build. And I do believe it has turned out well for the series that it's in. Just wish again that the paint was a, a, a enamel so that I could wax this thing. Here we have the engine bay of our purple 1940 Ford. And I'll just open up the hood here so that we can take a look at what I did with the old style engine. And as you can see here, it is painted in that tester's dark green again using yellow spark plugs. The intake manifold is chrome and I added a little bit of gold tinting to the carburetor. And then we have our black air cleaner going into a black radiator. 
with our black generator and fan belts as it should be on the real 1940 Ford. So you can see here that my uh, building techniques have improved over the time and that this is actually looking more like the real 1940 Ford whereas the rest of the Rainbow series are still sort of in the wrong colors. Here I've got the underneath of the purple 1940 Ford. This is really coming up as blue uh, with my camera. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm holding it because um, that antenna that's sitting up there, it's going to snap off if I put the roof actually on the board down below. Uh, now you can see th this being a later model in that Rainbow series, I've actually improved my skills quite a lot. The undercarriage here, the frame and chassis, are painted uh, flat black with a spray paint and the rear axle and the front axles are painted satin black again a trim clad color you can see I don't have a seam line on the engine there and uh, high gloss using the stock um, front ends actually I guess it's high gloss it's not really satin uh, painted the muffler and exhaust pipe on there and again, looks all nice and clean. Now keep in mind, I built this about a decade after the original Rainbow series. So again, my skills had quite improved by then after building about 40, 50 different other models in the meantime. So like I said, if you're just a beginner, this is what you would achieve. Like if you're starting off at about eight to let's say 12 years old, this is, if you keep at it, this is what you should be able to get to by the time you're about 18 to 25. Well, I hope you enjoyed my look at my 1940 Ford Businessman's Coupe, the last of our Rainbow Series cars, actually built correctly with all the stock goodies as it should be, in a color that appears blue but is purple. It's driving me nuts! <laughs> anyway, maybe I can get a picture of it outside or something. It might change the, the way the camera looks at it. <laughs> anyway, this is, of course, a model kit that you can achieve with years of model building. And it'll come just like that. Really simple to do. So if you've built this model, let us know down in the description below. Share your pictures of your build on our Facebook page, also in the description in the link below. And until next time, everybody, happy model building and keep trying for that success. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.